kiosk is that um, the whole world comes to us. The Great Commission says go into the world, well the whole world comes here and uh, it's quite quiet at the moment but every day thousands of people walk past this little wooden chalet uh, which has been here 50 years. Brilliant. And how, what, kind of, what kind of things do you sell at the kiosk here? We sell souvenirs, so we sell postcards, Swiss Army knives, uh, we sell um, uh, magnets, those kinds of things. And then everybody who buys something, we offer them uh, a gospel leaflet in their own language. So we keep a stock of about 30 languages of gospel leaflets. And then we also have a display of uh, Bibles in 15 languages and also books, mainly in French and English, all of which uh, the books are all aimed at sharing the good news. And how busy do you find uh, Montreux at this time of year? What's, what's going on? Well, uh, r right now there is the Montreux Jazz Festival, which is a big music festival. Uh, and it goes on for two weeks and we aim to have the kiosk open from 11 in the morning to 2 in the morning. And each day, probably between 10 and 20,000 people walk past uh, the kiosk. And we might um, have about uh, four or 500 customers who actually buy something. So it's four or 500 opportunities to share the good news, four or 500 opportunities to give somebody a gospel leaflet and to tell them about the gospel. And for someone who might be thinking, you know, I speak a bit of French, not much, but could I, could I possibly come and help out here? What kind of things would they be doing? Okay, well the first thing to say is I speak a little bit of French, <laughs> not a lot, and I get by. The answer is there's a whole range of activities. Um, we need people to do everything practical from keeping the fridge stocked with drinks, because that's a task in itself in the evening. We, get, we sell maybe two or three hundred drinks in the evening. Uh, but we need people to stand by the tables and then just offer people literature as they come past. And also we're now having children activities every afternoon, uh, working with United Beach Mission, so it's great opportunities there as well. Brilliant. Through the source, fire before us, you're the brightest, you will lead us through. multilingual and if you've got French all the better but um, to have a few languages and then there are plenty of people with whom you can chat um, so it's a good international opportunity it's different from beach missions but there are they reckon about a quarter of a million people here during the jazz festival but I think if you're multilingual there's a ministry for you just to talk to people give away tracts give away booklets try and talk to folk about the Lord right so so language is quite barrier I, I, well, I think it definitely helps. I only speak English, 
um, and there are English people to speak with or English speaking people to, to, to talk with but I do feel a little bit my hands are tied and you'd love to be able to talk to everybody. So what will the young people be doing? It obviously isn't like we don't have a beach here, no, so is there a holiday special or? Well they've got children's games and uh, trying to bring children in. Now at this precise moment it is absolutely scorching hot so it's well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, sorry I still think in terms of Fahrenheit, and uh, there aren't that many children around. I think when it gets cooler more children come and they will join in the games and then one has opportunities rather than running a, a big sort of corporate event talking to family by family. Um, so there is children's work, there are young people, there are older people, um, but it's basically trying to get into one-to-one -one conversations with folk. Yeah, just tell us what, what's the atmosphere like, especially in the evenings? Well, especially in the evening, it's a jolly sort of atmosphere all the time. It's very pleasant and very beautiful. Uh, in the evenings, incredibly crowded, and uh, there are hundreds of thousands of people. And um, apparently they're here till 3, 4 in the morning. I haven't yet tested that, but I gather they are. Um, uh, they wander a lot long, they look at the stalls, they're sort of promenading and uh, in the way that they used to do 100 years ago in the UK and uh, it is possible to get into conversation with some of them. Brilliant. Should we say anything else? It's nice to be here. Any French? Uh, no. <laughs> Oh, my God.